Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. So welcome back, we're playing Darius yet again in Diamond 2. He's just working for me, we're trying to climb, so to me it's a good idea. We're going to Susan, um, game's already in, so very quickly, Porofessor.gg, you can see it's a Diamond 2 3-ish game. We're currently Diamond 2 17 LP, negative win rate, negative win rate, so this will determine, you know, if I get a neutral win rate, this is that win. No games, negative win rate, good win rate, negative win rate, that's my team. A uh, really good win rate, good win rate, very good win rate, very good win rate. So yeah, this game, by statistics, isn't looking good for us. Welcome to but statistics don't mean everything. So that yeah, it's a no it, you have to think of Nautilus basically as a Blitzcrank level one, more or less. Did you ever had an AD carry Twitch main? You banned Twitch anyway. Uh, it happened in Iron to Diamond a in little while ago in the Thresh episode. The I banned Twitch and he said he was going to play it, but he never hovered it. He never said anything. Again, you have however long it is, 15 seconds at the beginning of the game, 20, 30 seconds, to hover a champion. So if something gets banned and you've never hovered it, you cannot blame that Minions person whatsoever. So, yeah. Again, we can, I'll have a little quick more look at the thing. Are there people saying, are there smurfs on the enemy team? Mm, no. I wouldn't think so. Like, the Corky doesn't have any ranked history, but he's played 100 games with a 51% win rate. So that... Wait. Oh, yeah, I'm on the main account. Yeah, that seems about right. The so he's just in his rating. Diamond. Chaos. He's diamond, mid-diamond three. Some people just kind of get there again. Could get an account banned. He might have been a transfer, but actually belonged. You know, there's a there's a bunch of there's a bunch of reasons. trying to deny him as you can kind of tell because I can kill him if he makes any little mistake and he knows it oops I thought I wouldn't have died actually I still play WoW well. I'm currently on a break from it but we are apparently going back really soon we had some like guild drama um and a bunch of us were just like, ah, let's just take a break. And some of us were like, are we even going to go back? I think we're going to attempt to go back, though. But yeah. Will I play Classic well? Wow, no way. I literally do not see the appeal in it at all. It's the equivalent of someone saying, like, you know, would I love a League Classic? No. <laughs> Live in the live in the present, not the past, man. Right, let's get this pushing so Nasus will have a hard time, like coming to help. I won't submit to the mandates of tyrants. Can Silas doesn't really belong in the jungle. Lux. None. Not worth. An AD carry gets a kill. Slain. AD carry doesn't get a kill. I reject the delusion of control. <laughs> Smart Nasus play. Ooh, really good flash. I was a the reason why I didn't react very well in that situation. I was about to flash on him, and he flashed on me, so I just didn't expect it. I was literally about to press flash, and I'm like, oh, Nasus would die though, and give me an assist. Our struggle so okay, I didn't get an assist. That's not very good. Damn, that's a big advantage for him. No. Again, she died to a gank. Syndra, that worth. Well, kind of worth. Syndra should beat Corky, in a way. Unless this Corky smart. We played against a Corky recently and he was really smart. He rushed Hex Drinker and he played relatively defensive. But yeah. 
Wow, Sheen first. Free ganks. He's squish. He's squishy and a little bit cocky. Again, the unfortunate thing is when you're roaming down to go like help your jungler in that situation, Nasa stayed. So that's where his like inherent little advantage came in in lane. Which is a bit annoying, but whatever. Give my jungler an advantage. And that's the type of situation that if you don't roam to help and it went bad, ooh, it would look bad on you. Game volume's loud to compare to my voice, really? Oh, I think the boost is too loud. Let me know if that's better. I think I had the boost too loud on the game audio in OBS. It's normally six decibels and for some reason it's an eight. Now you die. Okay, he's dead there because one I got had summoners up and obviously he used his flash to kill me, I didn't. But that is also the, the cockiness of rushing a sheen against the Darius. Much better. You shouldn't be rushing a sheen against the Darius, that's way too cocky. Ooh, I thought I was tanking the tower for some reason. Let me get some nice plates, we might be able to get one more. We've got a lot of minions helping me here, so. Use the W for. That might have just killed me. Yeah, that go getting that plate killed me. Not worth. He got to lane really quick. Oh, he bought tier one boots. Okay. Yeah, worth that time. Not even death can contain me. Ooh, maybe this guy's a split pusher. You know, he's a NASA, so I would put money on that he is. It's kind of what the champion's all about, is split pushing. So, will, the, the question is, will he get two plates? If he doesn't, then oh, he's not even going for any. He's going back to use his money. Okay, we're, we're probably like evenish gold because yeah, like he's two kills on me. I've got one kill on him, but I've got two plates. He's got none. So we're lit, we're lit and we're evenish farm. So we are actually like even gold in top lane right now because again, his one solo kill on me would be 300 gold. My two tower plates would have been around 300 gold. So yeah. Oops. It's like really weirdly close. Which it, sh it shouldn't be really close. Ugh, this Lux is cringy. Not Black Cleaver. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Again, the dagger at the moment is just going to maybe help me get another kill. Possibly. I want Kane to come top lane. Because he does now have Glacial, which that's the item, by the way, if you're wondering. That's the item he should have bought first. Not Sheen. Because it's not even just the sheen damage; it's the it's the uh, it's not just the armor for glacial; it's the cooldown reduction. That's what gives you the Q stack farming and stuff. So it's what you should be doing. <laughs> My cane is way too late. That's actually really annoying. I asked him to come top and he was a millennia before he even moved. Lux is offering nothing in that matchup. Okay, this Kane is an interesting player. Takes ages to get to the lane to help and then doesn't use his ultimate to survive. Soft inter question mark is going through my head at the moment. Because remember, this is supposed to be Diamond 2. Hmm. 
Mid. Doesn't he just straight up come in? Wait, he has all up again. Nice. Does she live? I think so. Oh my god, her health. Nice. He finally did something. Now, the annoying thing with my lane is kind of in that position that I'm losing lane on a Darius now. And it's really hard to recover from. Witness the end of an empire. So, yeah. Two leveled advantage. So I can't fight him. We just gotta wait. Which is not good when you're waiting against a Nasus. As a Darius. Hopefully we can just have a bigger... Like, again, this guy might be a big split pusher, which he likely is, but... Either we try and match his split push and just don't die to him, which kind of ruins what a Nasus wants to do, or we get involved in team fights and hopefully we can pop off there. How did you unbind your left mouse button? Uh, I don't even know what left... I don't even know what left mouse button is default on League, if I'm honest. If you donate Zareth, would you play that on your smurf? Well, we're not currently doing any smurf stuff. We're having a bit of a break. Wait, it's smart. Wait, left click is smart cast? Really? I don't think so, because like on fresh accounts that have got their own keybinds, I, I never unbind anything from left click. It's just like you click stuff and stuff is like the information's in the top left. Severe damage, holy moly. She doesn't even have a completed IE yet. Uh, I can't overstay for a tower again, can I? I'm just going to die. Yeah, I'm going to sell the dagger. It's not a, a Triforce game for me, is it? It's a Black Cleaver game. Is fire higher or lower than me? No. Not to my knowledge. I think fire is currently diamond three. More years of stagnation. Or one dead god. <laughs> So he is going Triforce Nasus because he obviously has the advantage, which is smart. No way I can do anything to him. I was like, I might try and fight him now because I've just come back from basing, so I've got a little item a bit. I am literally screwed in this lane. Damn. And the, the annoying thing too is he's already outscaled me and it's a Nasus. He just scales way more as well. Well, this is not going to be a fun game for me. We're going to try and, uh, you know, we're on a sinking ship and we're just going to try and plug the holes because it's going really bad. So don't fight him at all is basically the message. And just like lane against him. But I think Nasus needs a rework. No. Hmm. Syndra got caught in the middle of the lane. I think I just needed a bit of jungle pressure early. I think we would have been able to snowball off him because it was a very close early game between me and him. 
So if we had a bit of jungle pressure and like we could like pop off a little bit, then yeah, I think we'd be okay. But we didn't get any. If they can run and don't die, I think that's okay. Why was that flash? Does she need to flash that? I don't even know. Yeah, we did get ganged by him a couple times too. So it was like the the situation once again, the top laner that needs to win top gets ganked by the enemy and I don't get a I think I got maybe one ganked by Kane, but then that was a situation that, that I got ganked here when Kane said he was on his way, but then stopped for a ward, even though he's Kane and he can run through walls. So again, just just a little bit of a a sloppy early game. Which again, a sloppy early game will either make it, you know, you'll either get fed in that situation or you'll feed in that situation. And obviously it's the latter this game. Again, you've got to accept it. If you accept games that you get fed, you've also got to accept games that you have you feed. Recently, I've been getting fed in most of the games I've been playing Darius. Just this is the one that we don't. We can still make an impact this game for sure, but you just got to be smart about it. Again, being dumb in this situation would have been completing Triforce and stuff like that. It would be completing damage items. Well, I'm now adjusting my build. We're going dead man next and stuff like that. You, you got to adjust. It sucks, but yeah. Because, like, can me and Kane even 1v2 him is the question. I don't know. Because obviously CC is what's going to counter him. We've got a decent amount of CC. Knock up, E, stun. Nothing. Q. But then when you're killing a Nasus, and if it's taking a while to kill a Nasus, that's when the whole enemy team can just jump on your face. Uh oh. Oh my god. I'm getting, I'm getting ganked even now. Like Nasus is one lane like crazy, and that and K and um, Silas is still ganking me. Wait, why am I team there? What? That positioning is so weird. Why were they here? That missed. Okay. It's not worth trying to take it. When we look there, I don't know why my Severe and Syndra were here. Like, I may be here? Like, like I don't know, but that, that was very aggressive. Okay. The Corky seems really weak. And if, if we get Infernal, that's nice. Again, that's scaling. That does help. How did they end up there? The oh yeah, that's still up. So they didn't go that way. They must have gone like in that way, or they just ran that way and made it that way. I have no idea. Again, the Corky, yeah, the Corky's really weak. Eat, like I can kill Corky, which is nice. We we really need to get this. Severe is farming currently though. They don't have a Silas. Oh. -hoo! I got the dragon! Let's go, dude! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Kill, 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 kill! Hells, yeah. Huzzy the dragon taker. Kane the... Good. 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 Hey! <laughs> oh, did you see the Alistair? I set the Alistair emote, the new Alistair emote that we're giving away, as the ace. We just saw it above my head. So I guess this is a good, like, um, if we end up uploading this, 
This is a good alternate to some of the recent Darius episodes that we've highlighted. The recent Darius episodes, like one of them I got incredibly fed, but we still lost. Um, this is just an opposite of that. It's not always, the league, what you have to learn very quickly when you start league is it's not always going to go your way. And that's okay. It's, it, you can't get fed every game. It's, 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 no one does. You know, everyone's always said that Fake is a god. Well, just look what happened against G2. He didn't get fed every game. You know, that's the point. Not, not the, even the best players in the world don't get fed every, every game. So you as somebody that's just an average solo queue player, even me, I'm not a pro. I've accepted that, you know, that's just the way that it is. And don't be too hard on yourself either. It's annoying. And yeah, I beat myself up over the, on it, trust me. I'm recording, I'm live streaming right now to over 300 people. In my back of my mind, I'm like, God damn it, why do I suck? But I'm trying to be as useful as I can to win the solo queue game. I want to see the W at the end of the game. If you're dumb, you let it get you to you. You build, you know, oh, I'm still going to go Triforce. I'm still going to... You'll see the L. I don't want to see the L. I want to see the W. Oh, I saw this. Oh. Kill the beast. Kill the beast. Baron. Question mark? Silas is getting like this is obviously a very squishy Silas build, and if he's near the front line and gets caught like that, that's a big deal. Very big deal. Wait, oh. I thought someone warded like the backside of it. No, my farm, please. I need, I need gold, please. I'm poor, please. You're not poor. I'm, I'm poor. Thank you. I love you. Oh, you son of a! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> my strength will prevail. <laughs> Press F in the chat for that cannon. Holy moly! Oh yeah, knowing how to get carried is very important to climbing for sure. For sure. Again, don't get carried every single game, but yeah, it's important. Uh, Jeffafa. Thanks so much, dude. Two months in a row. Appreciate it. Again, we should just be grouping. If we force the NASA into, NASA's into grouping situations, he's not very happy. He he really probably wants to be side lane alone with me, because he knows I can't do anything against him. Tell everybody I'm on my way. Hello. <laughs> That's what we call good positioning. The old flank manoeuvre. Press F in the chat for that Silas. Do you think they've got flashes? Does Jinx have flash, Twitch chat? Does Jinx have flash? Probably. We'll test it. Whoa! Did you see what happened then? That was so unfortunate. <laughs> so Syndra's stun stopped my E. <laughs> I got like really good E on like two people and Syndra's stun stopped them from being pulled in. No! <laughs> That's what we call a feels bad. That is a proper feels bad. There we go, we won! So again, this is a good lesson that sometimes you're not Batman, you're Robin, and that's okay. Recently we'd be doing great on Darius, this game we didn't. Accept it. Move on. We see the win. We see the W. If I was dumb this game, and I was like, oh, alright, I'm gonna keep fighting Nasus after I did already. I'm gonna finish Triforce, I'm not gonna go Black Cleaver. After Triforce, I'm gonna go you know, Sterix instead of Dead Man to be really squishy and go for, like, just damage, that could have been terrible. And I will say, obviously, it does take my team also to do well, but, like, sometimes, remember, we've all been in that situation. We've all been in that situation that you're like, God, that person's too too heavy. They're too heavy to carry. We lose the game because of that guy. The lesson is don't be that guy. Be smart about it. If I was that guy and built damage and all that stuff... I might have cost the game. Nasus could have got too fed. He may have been able to split push and just get an inhibitor for free. We didn't. So yeah, there you go. 
Uh, I'll give it to the Kane, because I gave him a bit of a hard time. You know, there were some questionable things, but I think he pulled it around really well. Again, smart play. He went red Kane, not blue Kane, so the knock-up was really effective against Silas and Nasus. So again, it's important. And again, there are people going to gonna go, oh, you know, getting carried and all that. Yes, accept it occasionally. It's completely fine. Don't be the reason your team lose the game. That's important. So we went 455, 148 farm. Again, not my game, but we gained 17 LP. Damage wise, probably not that much. Actually, that's not that bad. Actually, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. So again, the, the Nasus does the most damage in the game, which obviously shows that he goes really fed. We do damage nearly equal to their Silas, who was doing strong, but we out damage both of their AD carries, the mid laner and the and the, the AD. So it's like we were useful to a certain extent. You know, in that game, we did kill the Corky near the Baron pit, you know, 1v1. So we did some stuff, but obviously the main thing that Darius wants to do is fight the Nasas. We couldn't. And again, some of that was due to my mistakes. Some of that was due to Silas early pressure. Some of it was due to the Nasas playing well. His flash play that he did to kill me in the 1v1 was great. I was about to flash on him and then he flashes on me. Really good. So yeah, like honestly, it was a good game and I think it's an important lesson. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And again, this is what I tried to highlight on my channel. Not everything about climbing is being flashy and going 1v5. Sometimes you've got to get down to the level of having a bad game. Okay, what can I do to at least not make my team lose? It's really important. But that's going to be it. If you guys enjoy, throw a like on it, throw a subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.